Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to our channel. Um, I am currently waiting for Booker to go to the bathroom right now. I'm standing by the back door. It's about 7.45 in the morning, and I am about to go to the gym. I have a really busy day today, so I thought it would be fun to vlog. Hunter is actually out of town today for... Um, he's getting a new tattoo, and he... Um, had this tattoo artist that was flying in from Europe that he's been communicating with for years and the tattoo artist came down to Florida for like literally two days so he's jetting down to get a tattoo and then coming back in like literally a day's time so he's out for the day but I am back here in Nashville holding down the fort taking care of Booker um, I'm also if you're new here I'm 29 weeks pregnant we're expecting a baby in like two and a half months and we have so much going on, it's actually ridiculous. So I figured I'd do a nice little old-fashioned day in my life um, living here in Nashville so you guys can see what I get up to on a daily basis and I don't know, just have like a little girl's day. So, Booker's all done. Um, I just woke up and I need to have a little pre-workout snack because I woke up actually really hungry. So I'm gonna make that right now really quick and then we're actually running a little behind. I slept in a little past my alarm. So we gotta get to it and get to the gym, honey. Okay, topping these off with a little hemp seeds. Um, I actually just recently did a what I eat in a day pregnancy edition. I've been having this for like two months now, <laughs> every morning. So if you guys want some more details on my meals, you go check out that video. Um, gives like a little breakdown on how I make, make a lot of my stuff. Mm. Perfect pre-workout snack. These are the only leggings I've been able to wear to the gym through my pregnancy. They're from Amazon. Linked on my Amazon storefront and on my LTK. They're um, really high-waisted and they're perfect. They actually kind of stay up during a workout, which is a miracle. Pretty good. Actually ordered some compression socks recently on Amazon because my ankles have been kind of hurting during workouts. So I'm going to see how these go. It is cold today, 28 degrees out, so putting on a puff puff. Sorry, book, I'm running to the gym, but we'll do something later, okay? Oh, it's gonna warm and fill up our Stanley, and we gotta get our workout. We're running late. Okay, we're on our way to the gym. Um, if you guys are new for some reason watching this, uh, Hunter and I go to F45, and it's actually a um, like a franchise gym that has multiple locations all over the world. So everyone does the same workout every day, which is really cool. Um, I, I'm sure it's that way for a lot of franchise gyms, but. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys have started going because we've been going for like almost three, maybe, maybe almost four years now, probably like three and a half, um, like consistently every day. And 
it sort of changed our life um, because we didn't really have a solid workout routine before that and I've just like fallen in love with it. It's um, like functional HIIT training and I actually alternate like every other day. So uh, three days of the week is like cardio mixed with resistance and then uh, three of the days are like weights and more like strength training days. So you can get a lot of variety, pretty much covers like all the bases that you need, um, all ages, everything, and it's really great. So we've been going there forever. So that's where I'm headed this morning. We usually go first thing in the AM if we can. Um, so that's gonna be my workout for the day. In terms of like staying active during pregnancy, I have continued to keep up with F45, which has been totally approved by my doctor and everything. Um, and it's actually really important if you can to stay active during pregnancy from what I've learned. So I luckily already had like a pretty good workout routine established where I've been going <laughs> to this gym literally every morning for three years. So it was a little bit easier for me to just stay in the rhythm. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna like, give myself an excuse like that I'm pregnant I'm not not like in a way that I'm being hard on myself but I was like I'm just gonna stay active and I'm gonna stick with it and try to keep going so I've definitely had to like pull back and modify stuff and I've definitely slowed down I'm not able to go like quite as hard as I used to um, but I'm just proud of myself for even getting there and moving around and keeping up some activity level while um, I've been pregnant. So I've gone probably, let's see, consistently like four to five days a week, um, all throughout the seven and a half months so far. Some days it's only three days and I'll do like walking. When I walk the dog, I'll like stretch out my walk longer to make it like two, three miles, something like that. So um, nothing crazy, but I do my best. So anyways, so that's where we're headed right now. Workout is complete. Um, it was a little rough for me today, not gonna lie. Feeling a little crampy. Just everything when you're pregnant is just so much different. Like you're constantly monitoring every day. You're like, what is that? And what is what was that? Oh, uh, what was that feeling? Like it's very confusing. Wait, are they reversing? Go ahead, go ahead, you go ahead. You go first. Um so I'm just glad that I got through and just got a little bit, I broke a little bit of a sweat, got in some movement, um, and I actually worked out with a subscriber, Serena, if you're watching, hello. And um, yeah, I've actually seen her at our gym quite a bit, and I was like, always was like, that girl so pretty, she's so cute. You know, I just like admire <laughs> the cute girls at our gym. And um, she said today, she was like, oh, we worked out today in the same pods. You probably see her in some of the clips, but, um, uh, she was like, oh, I've actually watched you guys like for five years since like the Texas days. And I was like, oh my God. So that made it even more special. And now um, I'm glad that I know her. So hi, Serena, you're so cute. And I'm so glad that we met. And she's also a Northern California girly. So that was fun. Um, and yeah, workout complete. Happy about that. I actually need to stop at the store and get like we're out of q-tips and we only had like one tube of toothpaste and hunter took it so um i told him to i was like just take it and i'll pick up another toothpaste at the store so i need to get some toothpaste q-tips stuff like that and then we're gonna go home and make some breakfast um having a like, really bad heartburn today that's a, been a third trimester symptom it's just brutal um and especially when I work out, like the motion of the up and down exacerbates it, so that's not fun. Getting a few things, eggs, bananas, and blueberries, almost out. Need some toothpaste, I like the, um, let's see, where is it? Whole care. I like the whitening one. But we'll get spearmint. Let's try it. And some Q-tips made with organic cotton. Looks like they've been opened. 
whatever. Okay, Q-tips. store and I just made myself this beautiful breakfast bowl um, this is actually in my what I eat in a day as well so you guys can head over there if you want the recipe really easy took me less than 10 minutes it's my favorite breakfast so I'm gonna eat breakfast and then we're gonna get the rest of the day started mm. perfect so good just got out of the shower Oh, much needed. It was badly due for a hair wash day, so I'm just feeling so excited about that. I was like getting to the point where I was like, okay, I cannot go any longer. I'm gonna literally die. Also made myself a coffee. I'm gonna whip out my Q-tips. Oh my God, I've been out of Q-tips. I've been wanting to do that so badly. There's nothing better cleaning your ears after the shower doing a little moisturizer on my face oh that's feels real good but I'm not gonna moisturize the rest of my body because I'm gonna leave that for tanning just doing some of my first aid beauty ultra ultra repair cream my favorite favorite I'm going to give myself a blowout as well today so I'm just gonna give this a brush and I have to get some work done here in a minute so I need to get on the computer for a few hours and while I do that I was gonna let my hair try to let it like halfway dry because I have extensions I don't want to um, if I if I have it like if I have to blow dry it from wet it just takes so long and I I can't do that so I try to like let it halfway dry while I'm like doing things around the house or whatever so I'm just gonna brush it through put some product in and let it sit okay two products I'm gonna use so for fine thin hair girlies the Orbe volume spray so good for the roots, I always do this on blow dry day. Helps, really helps with volume. And it's like my favorite probably product in terms of like smell, texture, how it makes your hair feel and everything. My um, extensions I don't really need volume, so I don't put that in there. For my extensions, I put on this Kerastase Nectar Thermique. It's like a milk cream and it's um basically a protectant for blow drying so i do like a quarter size amount and i just work it kind of through all the hair i'll sometimes do the ends of my real hair too it's pretty lightweight um so you could use it on your hair if it's fine and thin but it smells so good i love the texture of it it doesn't weigh down your hair either um, this is a product I've kind of used actually since high school and it's one that I've stuck with because Gives it like a little bit of hydration and then it also protects from heat So I'll put those two products in and then I'm just gonna go kind of work in my robe for a little bit while those like Sink in I guess you could say let's go get some work done now that we're all showered up Okay, I've been doing a little bit of work on my computer. Um, I forgot to take my seed this morning, so I'm going to just take it right now. Seed is a prebiotic and probiotic combined, um, which if you're not familiar with probiotics, they're basically just really good for your gut health. Um, they help with your immunity, your skin health, digestion, regularity, all that stuff. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard a ton about them. They're huge on the health market at the moment, but they are by far the most backed in microbiome research. Um, what I like about Seed, honestly, is that this is like the only product that they make. Um, sometimes I get sketched out when 
there's probiotics from other brands and they have like tons of supplements like powders and all these other vitamins it's like how much time and research did you actually put into your probiotic um which can be a little bit alarming so i love that this is like their only product and they have so much research like on their website they have a whole university on their instagram um and they're just total experts in this field and i just trust them 100 so what i love about this i can also take it during my pregnancy i think you can start it as early as 18 years old um and it's just such a great thing to add into your health routine so i take two every single day i think like my breakfast has been digested now for like a few hours so i you're supposed to take it on an empty stomach and hunter and i go everywhere with this we travel with it um we take it daily and the best part about it they send you a travel vial so you can actually just take it on the go really easily you don't need a refrigerator or anything a lot of probiotics you have to like refrigerate and it's such a hassle this one has a protective out of outer layer so it's all in the capsule and everything so you don't need to worry about it but a protective layer so it when it travels down to your gut it doesn't get um, affected or broken down by like your stomach acid or bile or anything um, so it's just really impactful and actually makes a difference we always have a 15% off code with them um, if you guys want to try it out get 15% off your first month I will have all that info down in the description box down below I'm pretty sure the code is JH15 something like that i like forget the code off the top of my head but i'll put it down below if you guys want to link it and or if you want to try it out um but it's so awesome we love seed we're ride or die for them and been a big part in my pregnancy journey as well just helping me keep everything up and uh nice and healthy and well-rounded so just wanted to remind you guys about that and i think it's time to get on our blow dry game here in a second so we're gonna give ourselves a blowout and then i need to get to the nail salon we're gonna dice and air wrap it today i just want like a nice bouncy blowout so i'll show you guys how i do that um just working on a video right now exporting it so i have my laptop over here it's multitasking you know um okay so so let's see, I think I might do the top layer first. I'm going to do the small attachments and just pull out the top layer first. I'm going to do the top layer first, everything away from the face. Switch to the other side. I've done the top layer and I just clipped it up. I do it before my bottom layer because my real hair dries faster and I you really want to get the most volume. You want to make sure that you're um, blow drying when it's or air wrapping when it's still a little bit wet. But for my extensions, since they hold curl, I actually prefer them more dry. So this hair I want kind of damp. This one I want almost all the way dry like basically dry or else it'll be too tight of a curl for my preference. So, I'm gonna blow dry it, almost dry. This layer's almost 100% dry, so a little bit of wet in there, barely any, but um, now I'm gonna switch to the bigger circles. So I use the one, like I think these are probably, are these half inch? Three fourths of an inch. I use these on my real hair and then the bigger ones on my extensions. Um, and I'm just now going to do the same process to the extension hair. Get some nice waves going. And see, they like kind of come out to a perfect thing. I used to do them when it was wet and they would just, I ended up having to like pull them out with like almost a straightener because they would get so curly and I just didn't like it. So 
this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna brush all this out. I don't like it super curly, so I don't mind if these sort of fall. It's even like a little curly for my taste, but I know that they'll fall eventually, so I'm just gonna roll with it. And then we take the top layer down and give that a brush. And if it needs a little refresh, but it's usually pretty good. Let's see, natural. Perfect. I'm gonna do some of the Flex Hunger Spray just in my top layer mostly. I love this hairspray. It's not sticky or crunchy, but it like holds and it smells good. It's the best. So lightweight. A lot of um, hairstylists I've worked with obsessed with this stuff um okay but that's my boulevard routine now this is so random but i was in bed last night and i had the best outfit idea like <laughs> so random i was literally like laying in bed at like 2 a.m and i was like oh my god i just thought of this really cute outfit idea at least in my head so i'm gonna put that on and if i have a little time if a little makeup i need to leave in like literally no less than 15 minutes so let's get dressed it's cold out today so i'm going to wear my amazon jumpsuit it's like basically head to toe covered leggings vibes in cream and it's so perfect for a bump really comfortable so flattering um i've been so happy with this purchase so i love it my vision was to do it with a black like combat boot basically so let's go in the closet we are redoing this closet when we renovate this house because it's so small um my doc martens um which have been such a clutch boot by the way for multiple seasons i have had them We'll see okay debatable i wish i had a little bit more of a tan but we have to do that later today can't do it all ladies am i right okay and then i'm gonna wear my isabel morant plaid and i thought that this would go with the boots like so well oh i think it's cute yeah it's cute obviously it look a little cuter if i was more tan but it's a really cute like comfy outfit and then I'm going to do some hoops. I got these recently off of Vici. They're really chunky. I love them. Um, they were in my Vici haul in our last vlog. If you missed it, snoozy lose. Okay, yeah, I think if I put on some makeup, everything will look a little cuter. Yay. And honestly, it'd probably be... This outfit would look really cute with like a like a slick bun, but obviously it just blow dried, so I just really need to wash my hair, but that would be cute. But here's the outfit just so you guys can see. Oof, little bump suit, the boots, and then this like oversized plaid jacket, um, and the jewelry. So it's pretty cute. I actually like the way that it turned out. Brow gel always helps. It's like literally a facelift, you guys. This brow gel. Facelift in a bottle. I know a lot of you guys have said that got you're like, Juge got to be made a brow gel. Um, yeah, I got it. It's not the same. So I still prefer the actual gel on a spoolie. I'll sometimes use this if I'm in a really big hurry and I just don't have time to like literally squeeze out the tube onto a thingy. Um, but I don't like the texture quite as much, but it is still a really good product. I just, this still beats it for me. Little cosmetic CC cream. Always so fast. It looks really good when you're in a hurry. Covers up any redness. I'm trying to do like a nude. I was trying to do something different than what I normally do, like something warmer, like that. Kind of like that. 
that blended with my skin too much, maybe. No, it's kind of good. Too dark. Yeah, kind of like that 23 Luke skewed. I think I might go with 23. Looking good. She literally crushed it. They're so perfect. She did such a good job. Absolutely perfect. Not too thick. Perfect shape. I love. Okay, on to toes. I think we're gonna do a color. I want to do one. Maybe. Something like that. I think that's the one. Not like a lilac color. Looks so pretty and then just neutral on my fingers. So I love the way it turned out. It's gonna look really good with a tan too. Okay, nails are done. Oh, they look so good. Um, and I'm just happy that is over with. My baby shower is actually next week and we have so much going on, you guys. Like, as you know, if you keep up with this channel, you know we're like moving soon, moving out of our current house to get renovated which is just absolutely insane if you have stuck along our moving journey. My mom's coming into town for my baby shower next week and I'm like, you know what, I should probably just get nails done now so I don't have to worry about it. Then one less thing to do on a day that I have time for it. So right now, like I feel like I wake up and my days are stacked. Like I literally make to-do lists and I just run through it and I'm like, what can I get done today? So it's been pretty wild. Um, I am very hungry though. I need a snack and I'm deciding if I should just grab something while I'm out at Whole Foods or should I, should I go home and eat? Okay, <clears throat> picked up some of the hot bar from Whole Foods, by the way. Um, Whole Foods has like at their hot bar like a paleo section. They usually have like one to two or three paleo dishes. Mm. And if you're like trying to eat a little cleaner, literally 100% of the time the paleo stuff is so good. And it's made with a little bit of better. Oh my god. I stepped on the gas that scared me I'm in park though oh holy shit um yeah versus like their other stuff at their hot bar is usually made with like a lot of crap or has like sugar in it and like just like shitty stuff so paleo section is where it's at and then I also got a raspberry rose poppy mmm that flavor a raspberry rose is so good. So I'm eating this and then I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna try to take Booker for a walk. I'm so tired right now. I'm like going to the dip and I just can't go there. Keep our energy up, girl. I have some more work to do on the computer, so I gotta get I gotta get back. We gotta make some edits, take the dog for a walk, and then we're gonna go to dinner a little bit later. So maybe I can squeeze in a nap before then. Okay, taking Bookie for a little walk. Gonna try to just do 30, 45 minutes so we can get back, finish up our work before dinner. But it's so pretty out and the trees are starting to finally blossom. And you can see the signs of spring. It's so lovely. Oh, book, book. Wow, this is so gorgeous. Let's go get some waters. Beautiful. Gorgeous, Bookie. I pack from the walk. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. And I literally just finished work. It is 6.30. Just got a video up. It's the what I eat in a day. Um, so you guys can check all that out for like um, meal and snack ideas. And usually Hunter's here. And so we tag team videos like with editing and all that stuff, but I have a lot of work to do by myself. Oh my gosh, I forgot like how much work that is. Um, there are a lot of people that do YouTube channels by themselves and it is, it is a lot. So anyways, um, 
I'm just washing my hands and about to head out the door to go to my girlfriend's house. So I'm just staying in my like dog walking clothes. So I just don't have the energy to do anything more. And it's like, literally so unflattering, but I'm like, whatever. Um, okay, so um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I was thinking of stopping and getting like a little dessert to bring over on the way. I'm trying to think what I should get though. I might pop into Whole Foods or something, even though I was just there earlier. I should have just stopped. I should have gotten something when I was there. I'm an idiot. Good morning, you guys. Um, I fell off a little last night because I was at my friend's house for, I ended up staying for like five hours. We had just so much to catch up on. Currently, I ended up sleeping in because I didn't get home till like literally midnight. And I slept in today and I'm going to meet my other girlfriend, Tiana, my bestie girl, um, for a cup of coffee. And I'm just getting my bag together. I'm sorry, I'm like still waking up. Wait, I need to bring chapstick because I'm gonna go grab coffee at Dose. It's a really yummy coffee shop here in Nashville. And get the day started. So I might vlog a little bit more today. Um, so this will be a little bit more than a day in my life. It'll be like a day and a half, two days, but okay, let's go. Love you, buddy. Somehow ended up at Zara. I'm not sure how that managed to happen, but I was wanting to come here. I know they finally got their spring stuff in and this is so bad. You guys look at everything I picked. Like she has issues with cream and beige. It's obviously a problem. So, um, I saw a couple dresses that might be cute for my baby shower. They have a lot of really good, like, basic satin like things. Just some cute little numbers. I obviously can't buy like that much right now because I'm pregnant. It's like really hard to shop because you don't want to buy too much stuff because I know in like, two months, like, if I buy it according for this, then it won't really fit after. So, I'm trying to get things that will work both ways. So, I'm not going crazy, but let's try on a few things. Okay, so cute. Um, love this. And it's a size small, so I feel like I could definitely wear this after. Hugs the bump perfectly, it's long enough. Um, actually, probably would be a little long if I didn't have a bump. Makes it like the perfect length, but this is so cute. Just a cute little spring basic. I love it. Um, I don't know where to wear it. I could also wear this to a shower. It's just so cute, it's really cute. Um, I love the high neck, like I like how much it covers. It just, like, even though it's bodycon, it feels classy because it has a high neck. Love the color, it's like a stone cement color and um, perfect on the bump. It is a little tight getting it on. It's kind of tight up here in the chest, so I wonder if I would do a medium. I feel like medium would be fine even postpartum too, but really, really cute with like a little boot or something and a coat. <gasps> I already see the vision for the outfit. Um, Snakeskin boot, leather trench, done. Okay, I just tried on my hair dress and I forgot to show you because I was so excited. I like, was taking pictures on my phone, but it's this perfect little slip dress. It's so pretty. Oh my god, it fits like a designer dress. 60 bucks. So good. That's probably my favorite piece that I found. Um, this one looks like it'd be cute, but I don't think I can zip it with this bump. Actually, I might be able to, but then the straps are going to be hemmed. Actually, really cute. Hold on, let me see if I can do it. Okay, it's zipped. I lied. Um, and it's actually so pretty. I just need the straps hemp because I'm short, so they are a little bit long. Let's see here. Put down in the back. I just don't know if I want to deal with getting something hemmed, but it's so pretty. I really like the spaghetti straps on it. Sorry, I'm trying to like hold it. This is the last dress. Um, it actually fits really nice. The material is like kind of stretchy actually, so really like hugs everything nicely kind of sucks it in very flattering um, and it has these little diamond straps which is really sweet and cute um, so I like it I think I just prefer the more simple silhouette though of the other dresses I think they're cuter so I think I'm gonna get that but I do really like this Pretty nice. Let me show you. 
Except I already have a jacket that's like this color and it's leather and it's this length, but it's not the trench. So I just feel like I don't need to do that to myself. Um, but this is so nice. Okay, well, um, I also am getting this little guy. It's like a cropped, distressed brown leather jacket. It's really cute. So look at that. This back is cute. Okay, I'm back from the mall and I got a little package in from Kopari. Thought we would open it. The Sunshield Body Glow Gel. And what I love about it is an oil, but it's SPF 50. So like I really like, I usually layer a like high SPF when I'm like laying out in the sun and getting a tan. I'll layer at least an SPF 50 if I'm like still building my tan and then an oil over it because I still want to like get the tan if that makes sense you need like the reflection of like an oil but then you want the protection of the high spf so this is like a match made in heaven and it smells so good they also have a rose gold one they said limited edition and this is spf 45 amazing so pretty um let's see. oh so nice mm. Yeah, it's the same smell. Oh, it just smells like the beach. It makes me so excited for summer. Um, even though my summer is gonna be with a tired newborn, but that's okay. <laughs> um, okay, that's lovely. And then they also sent some whipped ceramide cream, some body butter, perfect for the belly, and a body polish. Ooh, absolutely beautiful. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kapari. Those are lovely. Make a little smoothie, so let's do that. I'm just like craving a smoothie. Just like fruity and cold and beautiful. So let's do that. Little cashew milk. Ooh, I missed out of that. Or protein powder, which is literally on its last scoop. So looks like I need to place an Amazon order. The rest. Need to order that ASAP because that's empty and we use that every day. Water, beans, arugula, and spinach. That's just what I have, so we're gonna use that. Pineapple chunks, some berries. Half a banana. I don't have any frozen ones, so gonna do this this is key for like sweetness i feel like here we go he's obsessed with ice okay and then we need almond butter and a blender bob you guys these are the tea like these will change your smoothie game they literally taste so good um they're like a little superfood bomb with Dates, almonds, pecans, walnuts, hemp seed, chia, honey, flaxseed, vanilla, cinnamon, and aloe vera. It's like a complete protein, so it makes sure that you get every, like, basically fatty acid or whatever in your smoothie. Um, it's like a superfood bomb. You just add it in there. You could just do it with way more plain ingredients. Um, I'm being sort of extra with my smoothies, but... Oh my god, it makes them taste so good. I think it's the dates because they make it kind of sweet. It's delicious. To do tablespoon. A little bit big. Did not mean for it to turn out that way, but don't need to drink it all. I'm just gonna pour it in. Perfect, darling. Mmm, perfect. I have to get started with work for the day and I need to get on my self tan. I'm literally glowing. Um, I didn't get a chance, I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday. It got like way too busy, so I think I'm gonna do that today. I have to do tons of computer work, cleaning, and sort of like boring things like that. So I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Hunter gets back tonight, and we'll probably vlog this weekend. Um, and yeah, we're getting closer to finding a rental place to live. So 
I know it's crazy, but yeah, we're gonna have another move coming up. So lots of stuff in the works. Um, and hopefully just, yeah, it's gonna bring you guys along the journey. So stay tuned, but I love you. See you soon. Bye.